Hey, how's it going? Um, so it's been a while. Uh, been having a few issues with the mount. So if you recall, I was having issues with the wave generator pulling the pulley into the drive and binding up. So I had the bright idea with some washers and needle bearings to hold it out. Worked for a while, but I think my needle bearings were pretty cheap. Um, it's had a lot of friction. My guiding started getting worse and worse. So I came up with a new idea. So a commenter said that one of the pieces that came with the drives that I wasn't using was to hold a motor in place. So I thought I can probably use that. So what I'm going to do is 3D print a spacer. I'm going to use ABS plastic and I'll buy a bearing that has a inside diameter of 14 millimeters, which is, which is the same diameter as the shaft that I'm using. I'll press all that together and mount it on the drive. Hopefully it will hold things solid and not move. Let's go do that. All right, here's the RA axis torn down completely. I have the wave generator and the center shaft right where it needs to be. This is the piece that came with it. It'll go right here. <clears throat> here's the piece I 3D printed, go there. And here's the bearing that'll go on the shaft right there. We'll press these in. And then we put the pulley on top of that. So we'll do that now. I do have an aluminum tube that's the same diameter as the shaft. So I can put that on here, slide it down a little bit in case the bearing needs a little bit of help getting on the shaft. All right, we'll be back after that. Okay, bearings are in. Now I just gotta put the pulleys on and we'll be ready to install them. Okay, here we have the 48 tooth pulley put on. They seem to spin quite freely. Less friction than before, so get them put back in, put the belts on. That will do it. Complete and installed. Well, now that we hopefully have the drives in working order, they seem to be a lot smoother. Doesn't take as much to turn them. The next part of my mount that I was having trouble with has always been the alt as part. It's always been a little loose and wibbly wobbly. So I was watching a Queeve the Lazy Geek video. He's always trying out a new harmonic drive about every week, it seems. He was reviewing a proxy sky mount. And when I was looking at their website, I noticed that they actually sold the alt as portion of their mounts as a separate thing for 128 bucks shipped. So I bought one. It's here. Let's look at it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hopefully it's everything I dreamed of. screws. Huh? I don't know where this one goes. Oh, this side probably. Nope. Not sure. Goes there. All right. Feel solid. Okay, 
Okay, well, first impressions. I thought it would be a little bigger. The specs on the website say that this can hold 35 kilos. That's 77 pounds. Um, let's just say I may have some doubts, but if it does, and let's be honest, I'm not setting the bar too high with the alt as controls that are on my mount right now, but if this will hold that much, then with the new harmonic drives that I put on my mount, I will have a beefy mount. Okay, so let's look at this. So the base. Three and seven eighths. I think I can get that to work on my tripod. I'll probably have to get another plate on the bottom. Put this on top of. Okay, a little bit of grease, basically a standoff for a computer motherboard for the bottom, and there are the alt as controls. I found where the other washer goes. It was sitting in the bottom of the box. Okay, so move this nose up a little bit. You know, it feels okay. The bearing would be better. We have this to tighten up. The altitude control, and when it's loose, feels a little wobbly. One of those that you pull out to move. This may hit the bottom of my mount, though, so that may be a problem. Unless I keep it down here, which I guess I can do. So the plan is, I'll take these four screws out to take off the dovetail clamp and mount this to the bottom of my mount. The controls feel all right. Nothing to brag about. It works. Have a bubble level on the front. I don't know, let me go in the comments. Do you think I got $128 worth? I know anything that says telescope on it, the prices are greatly inflated, but I'm trying to avoid that on this channel, but hopefully this will be better than what I got. We'll find out. Let's do it. Okay, it's now firmly attached. Just gotta work on getting the base to drive with my tripod now.
Okay, good news. The polar alignment went well. Alt as seems to be working good. It's a lot tighter. I got within 22 arc seconds on the polar alignment. So it said, we'll see. Also, the mount is much quieter with the bearings the way they are now. Hopefully, that helps with the guiding. So let's test it. So I've got the mount pointed towards the ecliptic. We'll start some guiding here. And then we will, I'll just let it run for just a second here to see how it works. Okay, we'll run the guiding assistant now. Let that go for a couple of minutes, then we'll be back. All right, we'll stop, let it do its thing here. Measure the backlash. Hopefully my backlash graph looks a lot like the earlier one did. Okay, look at the backlash graph. Well, not quite as perfect as the last one. We'll apply both of those. We'll clear that. Okay, after messing around a lot, these are the settings that I've got so far. RA aggression at 65 and deck aggression at 60. Seems to be about the best I can do right this second. I'm sticking around a arc second of guiding. I wish I could get it lower. I guess we'll try something else. Maybe I'm going to try and turn up the amperage on my motors a little bit. Maybe my harmonic drives are a little bit too big for the NEMA 17 motors, but we'll keep you posted. That is all for now. Like, share, subscribe, and... Talk to you later, and as always, clouds suck.